up guys all right so today is not a vending machine video but that doesn't mean it's gonna be less cool so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go paint because well you know painting is paying the bills and um, you know I have a painting business so I gotta keep on painting so all right let's go to the paint job and see how it goes actually I gotta bid it but I'm pretty sure he's gonna say yes so fingers crossed he says yes job uh, all you're gonna see is a bunch of movement because it's white on white I'm repainting white on top of white but you can see there's little spots like right here and they're like kind of flashing that's because the walls are flat but he touched it up with a, a semi-gloss so I don't know if you guys can see that but you can see it's not exactly the right color so we got paint ceiling and all the walls What's up you guys, welcome back to the paint time lapse here. So pouring up the paint, um, I keep, I had to use two gallons for this. Uh, the paint was about 50 bucks. So I used two gallons of paint and uh, when I brush, I just brush out of the small can. I poured the majority of the can into the five gallon bucket. Which brings me to this. All the tools that I use for this job, I use five tools. And all these tools are under five bucks. Um, if you don't really, so the extension pole that I use is a bit expensive, but you could use a broomstick for that. So I use a, a roller pad. I used a three quarter inch nap, which you could use a quarter inch nap on this, just depending on the texture, you know? If you have a thick texture, you wanna use a fatter nap. So I think I used a three quarter inch nap on this. I used the roller, like the actual cage, the handle. Both of those things are under $10. I use the roller pole, but you know, you could totally use a broomstick for that. Um, also, what else did I use? I used a five, a five gallon bucket, which you get about for five bucks and I used a paintbrush. So five tools to get this job done. This is a cool job. This was a word of mouth job. I had done some work for this client previously and they had called me back, which is great. This is the kind of work that I like to do. Reoccurring customers, which is probably 90% of my business. As I don't really advertise, um, I, you know, a lot of my jobs pretty much are word of mouth. So this the, today, this job was cool. It's kind of a last minute gig and I just was able to squeeze it in. Um, so here I'm doing the ceiling. You can see I, I threw some plastic on the wall and over that bookshelf because that was stuff that was staying in there. Um, I did wrap off the floor even though I didn't have to. I dropped down some canvas drops on the floor just to keep it clean, just, just out of habit, purely out of habit. And I had carried them upstairs anyway, so I went ahead and dropped them down. So something like this you could do by yourself. You know, and even though it's white on white, you still want to do two coats because what happens is uh, when you do the ceiling, you know, you bump the wall as you're doing the ceiling. Then you come back and you do the wall. Well, when you roll all the way up to the ceiling, the part where you bumped now has two coats on it. So what happens is you get like a line. You'll see a line going all the way around where you had two coats, if that makes any sense. So see how the line above my head, there's a line there from when I painted the ceiling. Now when I'm rolling, I'm rolling up past that line, which which technically means that there's two coats right there and you can kind of see it. So I always, you know, put a second coat on. Just the second coat goes by so fast, especially if it's all nice and dry. So this is, uh, I guess you can kind of see, you can kind of see like a uh, change in colors there, especially right there. So anyways, like I said, it was a cheap job. Not a lot went into this job. I think it cost me about $12 in gas. Um, no, not even 12 bucks. Yeah, there and back, 12 bucks. So 12 bucks gas. Uh, see, I got the fan going there, and, and this brings me to something I want to explain that um, I, I I didn't understand for a long time. So, if you are painting a project and you're concerned with the way that it's drying and you're trying to get it to dry fast, so you like turn on a heater or whatever, that's all good and great, but here's the thing. That's not what really makes the paint dry. The, the thing that makes the paint dry is circulation, air circulation. So, so you got the door open to crack a little bit, and I do have that window open, even though it was so hot this day. And it was like a sauna in there especially once the paint starts drying and releasing humidity it just gets super humid and hot and you want to close the window but i wanted it to dry fast that way i can get the second coat on it okay guys quick little job cleaning out the brush if you're interested in any of the equipment go ahead and uh, check the descriptions below but the video is not over so don't go anywhere dude i locked my keys in my car look at it right there sitting right on the seat right there 
Oh my gosh. So I gotta try to pry this open so I can like stick a dang wire down there and try to grab the keys. Right there. Okay, after about an hour of trying, I can't do it. I, I'm this close to breaking my window because I'm thinking that a window is probably cheaper than a locksmith. <laughs> oh man, I actually started to tear into my door here. I don't know if you could see it, but I started tearing into this and then I was just thinking, you know, like, even if I tear this off, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to get my keys. So ah, this door's already kind of messed up. It doesn't open all the time. So what I did was I called the fire department and asked them if they could come and help me out. And um, after uh, talking with the dispatch and uh, just seeing, because I last resort is call a tow truck, right? Get it towed home. Or last resort is call a dang uh, locksmith to come open the door. But I didn't want to, uh, you know? <laughs> Where I'm from, back home, fire department will come down and, and get into your car so I was kind of hoping where I'm at I'm in uh, Tracy so I was kind of hoping Tracy would uh, maybe do the same thing so here we go guys <laughs> old Bertha's all locked up man and I just want to go home so anyways we got the job all done uh, it was about a four hour job we made 200 bucks and then we locked our keys in the truck <laughs> and probably potentially cost us even more. Uh, but fire department's on their way. And um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Damn keys. All right guys, future Tim here. So I didn't get the footage of them actually opening the door because I had to sign a release waiver in case they damaged my truck. Sorry. All right, so we made it home. Fire department came, got our keys out. And uh, here comes in another fire department. Well, we're down here in Modesto, picking up the kiddo from theater. Alright, All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.